Thank you, for 7 here. We're in the same area as uh, we were when we left off. I just went ahead and took out the Super Mutants beforehand. Of course, our recording. It takes a little bit of time, you know. Mute. This, I guess, is the room whereby they signed the Declaration of Independence. I guess. At least that's... It seems like that's correct. Yeah, you got the pillars and... All that jazz. It's cool. I'll give him that. Wait, hold on. I need to be Above. Uh, fair enough. I know how to get there. Well... In theory, at least. Oh, pardon me. Umbrella stand? Cool. Oh, shit. Didn't realize there were bombs. We got three grenades right there. Oh, well. Ain't got nothing. This the way out. This is... Hi. Can you heal me? No? Oh. Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Captain Robot Face. What did I... I rode the elevator, didn't I? And I fell down, and there's no way up outside of said elevator. Yeah, it's gotta come down and open up, and then we hit the button, and we go back up. Easy peasy. I appreciate that it tells me what's up. Like, what direction we're going, and all that other fun stuff. You know? Way down yonder on the... On the... Okay, I don't know. I don't know, why is that, why is that in my head? It's like... It's an old country song. We used to listen to country music a lot when I was uh, like a kid. And my mother's Ford, Ford Explorer, I think it was. Neat. A lot of country. And they switched, eventually, uh, we made the switch to, like, K-Love and some other of uh, the, like, I guess you'd say religious radio, like, Christian radio. Which I'm not against, inherently, but thing, um, K-Love specifically, I have issues with, because they play, like, the same eight songs over and over, all day. Bleh. Do not want. Ooh. Man, this place has got some freaking tasty loots, man. Look at all these tasty loots. Braxo cleaner, which I can use to make something. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I should have been checking for mines and stuff. Don't want to get blown up trying to do shit. That ammo. Nice. Night vision, powerful pipe, bolt action rifle. Hmm. No. No, in that I probably will not be using it. At least. Ooh. Industrial strength, Abraxo cleaner. It's kind of neat that there's variances. 
use oil can. Is this me? Yeah. Yeah. There's a note on the gilded grasshopper. <sighs> we still haven't made it there yet. It's a sizable quest, man. So far as well, this is a side note, sort of while while it's going through the loading screen, about loading screens, this, this game hasn't had any, I haven't had any, like, super long load screens. That's like one of, one of the longest. Anything you need? I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now, which means I can trust you anything. I'm also hoping it means okay. I'll be back. Because I need it now more than ever. I'm I'm sick. I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. You're what? Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Believe me, I want your help. But I'm scared. I'm scared that you'll hear the truth and that I'll lose you as a friend. God, I'm making a hell of a mess of this. I didn't think it would be so tough. What's up? You Always friends. Friend. No matter what you say. Damn you for being so nice to me. I started <laughs> to finish it. Ever since I left home, I've been using psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without I have something in my inventory right now that can cure that addiction. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Can your psycho addiction be cured? Normally a wasteland doc could handle it. But I've been using the stuff so damn long they can't help me anymore. There's only one mm. other way I know. But it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard okay. that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly right. have some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. We'll find no it. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me. Even when I'm letting you down. Look. I don't want you haven't let me down. Kind of low life You've been rocking it, combat-wise. No You're good. To another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Yes. Yes, I most assuredly will, my dear. Just as soon as I get this... Uh, ooh, hey, Marty... Marty Bullfinch, what you got for me, buddy? Dirty black suit. Uh huh. Of course I am. Hey. Yeah. Hi. You need to carry more stuff of mine. <laughs> Thank you. That helps immensely. Is that a Oh, nice. Mm, neat. It has 10 copper. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Read Fool for the Grasshopper. Uh, wait, it's going to be my inventory under miscellaneous. Oh my gosh, it's really hard to read. To my brethren and fellow grasshoppers, fell, fell in ye year. 
1755, November 13, early in the morning, by a great earthquake, by my master, by my old master above, again like to have met with utter ruin by fire, hopping timely from the public station, came of the broken bones and much bruised, cured and fixed, old master, son Thomas, uh, Drown, Thomas Drown, June 18, nine, uh, 1768, and though I promised to discharge my office, I, uh, discharge my office yet, I shall very, very as ye wind, huh, okay, <laughs> on the banks of the Charles, the Feverest Master Shem, where one can find a life's worth. Oh, neat. Okay. Ha, uh, the thing is, though, as much as I like dealing with Nick's, ooh, <coughs> Nick's little, well, Nick's detective mode stuff, I just got a quest, a very important quest, for my dear Uh Oh crap baskets. Okay. Well that doesn't bode well. Fifty nine It's mm. really frustrating. It floats around 51 if, like, they get new people and you're not there to assign them a bed. They get all pissy about not having a bed. And, like, the happiness overall just, like, plummets, which is frustrating. I mean, of course, you'll, you'll have fluctuations in the happiness of your town. Like, that's... I understand that, but at the same time, I don't like it. Why are things looking down? Why are you people being all crazy? Raiders thought we were easy pickings. We showed them different. Do I look like I want to chit chat? I just want to trade no. a few things. Go ahead. Are you a new settler? No. You're running my shop. Side note. Wait. What? Hang on. I can't have two people run. Oh, he runs a different shop. So here's just really quickly before we end this video. What I'm doing, what I'm working on doing, planning on doing, is setting, sort of having like a uniform, if you will, for the various positions that are associated within the, the realm. So like, the nice clothes, the suit mode is going to be for my shops. I don't know yet what I'm going to use for my farmers and for... There's a couple of other sort of genres of that. So like guards and... Uh, I think for guards I'm going to get some kind of like... Maybe suit them up in armor. Like actual armor. And then the, the farmers I guess would just be whatever. Just wanted to trade a few things. I just want to talk, actually. I don't want to take your junk. Why is everyone standing around, like, in a perfect line? Yeah, dude. Sheffield's cool. I like Sheffield a lot. Do I want him... I could have him run something. The drink stand, or... Really? Do you want to run the, the food and drink? The bar? That's probably not a good idea for Sheffield. Truth be told. Hang on. I, I need to assign his him, him a spot. 
the beds are over here. I don't know that I've assigned him yet. I was, I, I've been trying to find him for a while. Bed is owned. Cool. Good. With that, ladies and gentlemen, Bombay Tuna, we'll see you next video.